Good afternoon. My name is Mr. Samir Tricker. I'm a consultant ophthalmic surgeon with a specialist interest in cataract surgery as well as glaucoma, and I'm based in the Harley Street district of central London. Um, specifically, my practice is based at the London Clinic Eye Centre, which is at 119 Harley Street. So there are a number of different lens options available for patients undergoing cataract surgery or what we call clear lens extraction. Importantly, it's worthwhile remembering that uh, lenses are designed to last for the rest of your life. And I like to think of it when I talk to patients about three distinct groups of lenses. The first group is a type of lens that typically gives a very good or say excellent vision for the distance. And that's called a monofocal lens. That lens allows excellent vision when you're outdoors, but with a requirement for reading spectacles, typically for intermediate ranges and near range, such as tasks like using a computer, uh, using a mobile phone, or for example, looking at the back of or small ingredients on a packet in your kitchen, for example. So that's the monofocal, the first group of lenses. The second group of lenses I'd like to describe to patients is called the extended depth of focus lenses, also abbreviated to EDOF or EDOF that you might see in written literature. Now, the extended depth of focus lenses permits a better range of vision from the distance all the way up to intermediate at approximately 50 centimeters or so. And patients report that to be very, very comfortable, um, allowing a variety of tasks to be conducted without the need for glasses or spectacles. However, I do explain to patients, they may require a very low powered plus lens or a pair of reading glasses for a very small print. Although I would also mention that in about 50 to 60% of my patients, they do describe being able to perform most tasks without the need for glasses. So that's the second group of lenses called the extended depth of focus lenses. The third group that I also mentioned to patients is known as the multifocal lens. Now, the multifocal lens, as it describes, essentially gives three focal points, one for the distance, one for intermediate, and one for near. So that is the best choice for patients who are extremely motivated to be spectacle or glasses independent after having cataract or lens extraction surgery. So just to re reiterate that, three groups, we have the monofocal group for the distance only, you have the extended depth of focus lenses for a bit of better range, and then you have the multifocal lens which is for uh, the um, distance, intermediate, and near. So lens replacement surgery is really very much on an, in, on an individual basis. So it's very much based on the fact that patients may wish to change what we call their prescription uh, or their refraction, which is something that they may have glasses for. Now, if a patient wishes to have a prescription of near zero and no longer require glasses, it's a very good option to consider lens surgery. Similarly, it's worthwhile mentioning that if a patient has a cataract, well, that is a natural time to have the cataract removed and, of course, uh, a new lens inserted. The patients will know that by noticing a change in the quality of their vision. So they might notice a difficulty, for example, in small print, difficulty uh, with glare, or halos around lights, um, or a difficulty with car headlights at nighttime, for example. These sorts of things are affecting the quality of their vision and therefore meaning they may need to have lens surgery. So the potential risks and um, side effects of lens surgery are thankfully very, very rare and very low. Some specific things to, to bear in mind with lens surgery is that, that nothing is quite like our vision when we were when we were 21 years of age. So there are small risks with lens replacement. Specifically, the intraocular lenses can induce uh, something called uh, halos around lights, which are rings around lights or starburst phenomena. Thankfully, the rates of these are extremely low. In the first group of lenses, called the monofocal lens group, the risk of that is about 1%, so extremely low, one in 100 patients. In the second group, what we call the extended depth of focus lenses, uh, the risk of having a side effect from a lens is, is again quite low, maybe between four and eight percent of patients may have a degree of uh, a problem. And the third group is uh, what we call the multifocal group, where between maybe five and ten percent of, of patients may have some degree of halos or glare around lights. Thankfully, in the vast majority of patients, those effects actually wear off within the first six months or so. And that's through, uh, through a process called neural adaptation, where the brain starts to get used to the new artificial lenses in the eyes. 
So generally, lens replacement surgery is extremely safe. There are a few things to bear in mind, uh, as described, but thankfully, in the vast majority of patients, these effects wear off. So after lens replacement surgery, thankfully, the, um, the recovery is very quick. Depending upon the, late, the level of anesthetic, um, applied visual recovery begins from the next day. So after a few days, the vision um, becomes a little less blurry. And often by a week or so, a significant amount of recovery has occurred. And patients have got about 80 to 90 percent of their, of their uh, final visual outcome uh, in, uh, at that point. The vast majority of patients are seeing very clearly after a few days. But complete recovery and stabilization of the eye and the vision is at about six weeks or so. Uh, so in terms of uh, limitations, there are very few. It's very much about that preoperative period, that period before cataract or lens extraction surgery, where we decide very carefully with the patient to choose the correct lens for their lifestyle needs. And my aim is to work in partnership with patients to work out their exact needs their actual lifestyle um, and what their priorities are to choose the correct lens for their for, the, for their potential uh, outcome. In terms of limitations, we obviously we have to make, bear in mind that there are limitations to some of the lenses. If a patient chooses a first group of lens like the monofocal, there will be a requirement, of course, for reading glasses for near work. And similarly, to a lesser extent, with the with the second group of, of lenses. Um, in terms of follow up and routine, I do recommend patients have an annual checkup. Um, once they've had lens extraction surgery. Of course, in the immediate post-operative period, I recommend I see patients after a few weeks after having lens extraction to check that everything is fine. And then a formal, what we call refraction at about six weeks or so, uh, which is done by one of my team members to make sure that there, if uh, there is a requirement for reading glasses or not. Normally thereafter, I recommend an annual review so that patients are monitored to, to ensure that there's no changes in their eyes.